Hey everybody, Scott Sprintz here, DocSports.com, our update for Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below this video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account. Again, to get started, just click on the link below the video. Here's what we got going, a very busy week in WNBA. Now, I'm cutting this video uh, as the game on Friday night tips off for us. So we don't have those results yet. But going into Friday, 65% with the last 32 in the WNBA, as you know if you've been following me. And uh, we do have a big weekend in store. There's three games on Saturday. There are three games on Sunday. We like both days. Lines haven't even, haven't even come out yet. And uh, we're looking at the games and saying, boy, if we get a certain line on a couple of the games, we are going to go big this weekend. We haven't had a lot of high unit plays in the WNBA this season, but we like the games that are being played over the next two days, Saturday and Sunday. WNBA will be available on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. We've got Major League Baseball on Saturday. Those plays available, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Two plays for Saturday. We've had a lot of days lately where we've had just one premium pick over at DocSports.com and baseball, but we've got two for Saturday already handicapped, already written up and in the bag, and those will be available Saturday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern over at DocSports.com. UFC available 11 p.m. Pacific time Friday night right up until Saturday's fights. I've got two plays in the UFC led by a six unit play and I'll say this about those six unit plays anything in fact five units or higher in the year that we've been posting fights over at DocSports.com we're up over $3,000 for $100 per unit players we've only had 13 fights that have rated five units and higher number 14 goes on Saturday six unit play part of a two fight card for us a UFC on ESPN 5 and again if you're watching this a little bit early if you're watching this late 11 p.m. Pacific is when we're posting the fights for Saturday. 11 p.m. Pacific, Friday night, so you'll be able to grab those at that time or after, right up until the card gets going on Saturday. Baseball, WNBA, UFC all going on Saturday. The big play this weekend in WNBA. The big six unit play tops the UFC. And don't forget about NASCAR. We will have our NASCAR posted Saturday night, 11 p.m. Pacific time for Sunday's race at Watkins Glen. Going all the way back to the 1st of May, we're 10 and 3 with our last 13 NASCAR plays. Just like UFC, we're up over $3,000 for $100 per unit players. Again, NASCAR for Sunday available at 11 p.m. Pacific time. A uh, real quick note before we get to today's free pick and also uh, to our next college football over under wins total, this uh, will be our only update for the weekend. We will not have a video for Sunday. So last time this summer, I've only taken a couple of days off last time this summer where we're going to take off from videos and we'll be back on Monday uh, at 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. And then from here on out, probably going to have videos every single day of the week right through the football season, right through March Madness and college basketball, just as we did last year but again no video for sunday we'll be back monday 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific time all right, before the free pick, I want to get to our next over under wins total in college football. We gave you Utah State over six and a half minus a dollar twenty a couple of days ago. Our first over under wins total in college today. We're going to go with the California Golden Bears. Now shop around because you can find six. We like the under. You can find six. Probably have to lay you know dollar twenty ish or around there uh, in Vegas. The best I've been able to find uh, scouted around town is five and a half. We like it under five and a half too. And at that point, at least at the Westgate for instance it's under five and a half is minus a dollar ten uh, but again we like them under five and a half we like them under six there's been some restructuring with the way the coaches on the opposite side of the football are going to coach and call things and who they're going to coach and listen the bottom line is this if this team to me if this team top six wins this year talking about the cow golden bears if they get to six wins this year uh, you might want to pin a medal on Justin Justin Wilcox and his offensive staff because as far as I'm concerned they can restructure all they want to. There's not top level Pac-12 talent on this offense again this year. Uh, quarterback position is a mess right now and we're in, it's August 3rd and I'm still talking about a quarterback position that's a mess as far as talent level is concerned. I just don't see this
this team doing a lot more than they did last year on offense. They were one of the worst teams in college football. Total yards per game, points per game. They couldn't get the ball in the end zone. They average about 21 points per game. And I see the same thing happening to this Cal Golden Bears team once again in 2019. The defense should be spectacular, but it's a defense that could be worn down in the second half of the season if they don't get much help from that offense. And look at the schedule. I jotted down the road games at Washington, at Ole Miss, at Oregon, on the road against Utah. They end the season with a couple of the road games back-to-back -back Stanford and UCLA. And by that time, that might be two more losses on the schedule. There's a real good chance that Cal goes 1-5 and five at best on the road. 0-6 oh is a distinct possibility without an offense that can get this defense a little bit of a break from game to game, from week to week, and from time to time. Even their openers, uh, non-conference games, I should say, the opener against Cal Davis, yeah, they should win that by 17 to 20 points. That should be like a 30 to 10 type of game. But don't look ahead to the next week against Washington on the road. Cal Davis is going to be a top FCS team this year, 17 returning starters. So while Cal should handle UC Davis, the bottom line is they cannot overlook Davis at the start of the season and get caught up thinking about the very next week when they have to travel to Seattle and play Washington. Another home game this year. Really no gimme. They've got a home game against North Texas. North Texas is probably an eight-win team uh, this particular season. So don't get caught up looking at Pac-12 games if you're this Cal team and look past North Texas. Really, they've got only two gimmies on the schedule. One of those is a homer against Oregon State. I think in all, by the time it's said and done, even though they got this top-notch defense, and I'm talking just about every unit on the defense is going to be strong. Some of the best talent on defense that you're going to see in college football. And I'm talking up front, linebackers, the secondary, which should be spectacular. Going to be great defense. Going to be a horrible offense in all likelihood again. So when I look at the schedule, I break everything down and see that they got a tough road slate. I'm looking at a four-win season for Cal, five wins tops. So anyway, shop around. You can find under six. We will grade it at under five and a half because right now, as of August 3rd, that's the best I've been able to find in Vegas, under five and a half wins. But again, sixes are out there. So go ahead and shop around uh, before you jump on this game. So under the total of five and a half or six on the Cal Golden Bears, under five and a half is right around minus $1.10. Under six, you got to, of course, lay a little bit more juice with that play if that's what you end up getting, if you agree uh, with my analysis of the Cal Bears this season. All right, listen, that's going to be our second play. Utah State over six and a half. Cal under five and a half or six wins. Uh, as far as our next college football future, we'll probably have one on Tuesday uh, on that report. We will be back here on Monday, but we'll have a next college football over under wins total on Tuesday. We'll start talking about some of those opening week games coming up in just a couple of weeks. All right, again, before I get to the free pick in baseball for Saturday, real quick note, UFC available anytime after 11 p.m. Pacific on Friday night. Two plays, including a six-unit play. Two plays on Saturdays. Baseball available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Big weekend in the WNBA both days. <clears throat> Excuse me. So be sure uh, to grab the WNBA both days after 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Free pick for today. We'll keep it short since we did the analysis on the Cal Golden Bears. Daytime action, I'm taking the Cubs, and I look for Hamels to be able to outduel uh, Gio Gonzalez. Not a lot wrong to talk about with Gio Gonzalez, but we don't think he's going to get much support here. Uh, Hamels has been absolutely on fire all season long at Wrigley. He's coming off the IL. We look for him to return to form. He's got like a 2.58. ERA at home so far this season at Wrigley, and uh, we think he's going to get right back on, uh, on on the same track that he was before the injury. Now, if his pitches are at all limited, it's all right. We still think they get by the Milwaukee Brewers, but we're expecting a decent start out of Hamels. And again, Gio Gonzalez on the road. He's done well this year. I think the Cubs will get to him enough to give enough run support uh, for the Cubby pitchers, which of course starts with Cole Hamels. We're going to back the Cubs. They're laying about a buck 30 or so as we cut this video. Also wanted to mention we'll update you on the weekend on Monday. As we speak, it uh, looks like the Pirates are up 8-4 to four in the eighth inning. That was our free pick here, so we'll update all that plus the premium picks on Monday. It's going to do it for us for Saturday. Uh, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column. Talk to you Friday morning, 5 a.m. Excuse me, talk to you Monday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific Time.